Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome. It's our last day here at Next. Uh, I hope you guys had a really good time in this uh, in the conference. I, I thought it was great. I hope some of you got to go to the concert last night. Uh, so, welcome to Document Understanding with Vertex AI. My name is Tomas Moreno. I'm the Outbound Product Manager for Doc AI as well as Imagine. Uh, we're really excited to have you here today and really talk about some of, uh, uh, some of the implementations that we've done with some of our, our partners and customers. Uh, so with, here today, with me here today, uh, we have Andreas. Andreas, please introduce yourself. So good morning, everybody. Andreas Vollmer from Commerzbank. Commerzbank is the second largest private bank in Germany. Um, and I'm responsible uh, within Commerzbank for everything around documents. Yeah? So from physical archives to digital post box, but as well in between for the topic on uh, document AI, which we will touch later. Balaji? Hey, uh, my name is uh, Balaji Muduluri. Um, I am, a, I am um, the senior vice president of uh, technology working at Equifax, um, part of uh, employer solutions in a workforce solutions business unit. OK, thank you. OK, so if, uh, if you haven't gone to our booth, our booth is over there in the back in the Innovation Center, uh, you'll see our product portfolio. Uh, it's really composed of managed services as well as the different platform components for documents. Document AI uh, really is ma managed service to get your, uh, your processors, use generative AI to build processors for classification, extraction. Uh, Vertex AI Search is our solution for RAG. Uh, it's an implementation that we put a lot of uh, investment in. So uh, take a look at that demo as well. Uh, and then Gemini, Gemini and documents. Take a look at those demos in there. Uh, a lot you can do with different documents. Um, okay, so and then there is a another session at 10:15 for document understanding. So okay, that's the plug. I want to jump right into uh, some of what our uh, guests here have to talk about. So let's jump right into Balaji. Um, Equifax is a 125-year-old um, company. We operate uh, with uh, three business units. One is credit bureau identity fraud products. The second one is international. We serve in more than 15 countries uh, with both government products and identity uh, credit bureau products in across 17, 15 plus countries. The third one is where uh, I, I work with in the, in the part of the business unit, that is workforce solutions. The workforce solutions is about providing um, various employer solutions, such as compliance, tax management for Fortune 500 companies, uh, which includes the work number. It's our brand. Uh, where we help our, um, uh, the, the, the primary purpose of our company is to help the people to live their financial best. Wherever uh, their mortgage needs are, wherever their government needs are, um, all of those places where our products were served to ensure that the people are living their financial best. So if you look at the, on the screen, as we are providing employer services, uh, the products are heavily regulated products. I-9, unemployment claims, or tax products. All these products require either the forms are either digital or a paper forms. Each form goes through like a 80 plus fields. So these are regulatory uh, under compliance related products. Our customers are Fortune 500, Walmart, Amazon, Google, and uh, Starbucks, Microsoft, you name any company, Nordstrom, any company, they are our customers. What we do, their employee workforce, their regulatory compliance forms are managed properly and securely to make sure federal and state governments are using, uh, they're, they're compliant with the federal and state governments. So the six months ago, we had a, a, a breakthrough in our business processes. The big breakthrough was using the uh, document AI all the Vertex AI models, so that we were able to leverage to process our historical backlog forms. In any given year, we process 40 million forms. So that, that's an uh, exhausting job for any business operations leader who leads that organization. Our uh, breakthrough was identifying, extracting, classifying the documents, everything from a 60x. If you go to the next slide, please. So our problem statement is simple. Classify, extract, index the forms faster. So make sure 
we do the job correctly so that employers are compliant with the systems, right? So our entire workflow, we changed it to a, a modernized workflow so that we were able to resolve our entire two years of backlog forms also we were able to resolve. The results are, the numbers are uh, uh, astounding. Um, 60x increase in processing capacity. We used to do 65,000 forms a month. Now we can do 4 million forms a month. And um, the automated process, 100% of the forms, 92% of the uh, volume are coming with 100% accuracy. So the remaining 8%, we go through some of the validations and all. So um, it, it's, it's a, a, it's a um, tremendous outcome where we went through. The costs are really good um, with the vendor solutions what we were put up with, the solution what we have with the Doc AI. The most important thing here is the workflow. It connects directly to our GCP application stack. So we don't need to have a manual operations where the files are coming in, going out, and all that. So the connected uh, application stack, along with the Doc AI, made a, uh, a tremendous outcome for us. Wow, that's awesome. That's really nice to see those metrics and uh, you know the efficiencies gained uh, by using AI, Doc AI. So, uh, uh, outside of classification and extraction, what other processes do you think you can be applied using our AI capabilities? Um, the classification, um, how we were doing like a 40 million forms, we were always choosing the most important SLA-based forms to process. Now, this, this opens up the growth also. We can, we can onboard a, a numerous customers and all. Where we will be heading, um, beyond this classification extraction indexing, this breakthrough, I have seen yesterday, as you said just now, uh, the showcase uh, place, we will be moving our developers towards business problems, such as you, you are directly reading the documents, you, are, you don't need to write the code. You are asking prompt questions to the API so that you can directly identifying the problems with the document and instantiating the workflows right from a, a, a stateless, codeless uh, situations, right? So this is where it is going with the Gemini 1.5 uh, as, a, as a model and how we are going to leverage is enormous. Okay, that's great. Well, thank you, Balaji. Uh, we'll, we'll ask a few questions in a little bit, but first uh, I'd like to pass it on to Andreas. Uh, we've been working with Commerce Bank as well for, for quite some time and they've been one of the uh, leading partners for implementing Doc AI. So Andreas? Thanks, Thomas. <clears throat> so, next slide. So, just to give you a bit more of context, huh? so as Commerzbank, we are in the middle of the transformation to a digital bank, and part of that transformation is as well that we are closing down branches as well as that we're changing the operating model, and there is why, where Doc AI kicks in, in into the game, um, so that we change the overall processes of documents we receive a lot still from our customers. Um, so, and so we turned that around and started with all physical documents coming in, which we are then running through the pipeline. You don't have to understand the, 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 the slides in detail. It's about that we look for the classification, what document is it, and then we double check and extract the data out, out of the uh, document. And then besides Doc AI uh, features, the, the, the question comes how to find the right customer uh, based on the data extracted. Um, and then to align it to the right back office process yeah? so that we really target much better than before to which team in the back office the document should run. And that's the status where we are, where you see the green tick uh, uh, on the top of the page. So we're in production now for um, uh, one and a half year yeah? and we're running on a daily basis a lot of documents. We will see that on the next slide uh, in more detail. Okay, that, so and then we're planning as a next step that we use a now established pipeline to really extract more data out of the documents to be really able to STP all kind of back office processes. Yeah? And as you look at us as a classical, historically grown bank, we still have a lot of manual work in the back office. Um, and this is now one major lever based on the capability of Doc AI pipeline that we're really going to start to SDP all that kind of back office processes. Yeah? And we're even planning, and that's why we're then the, the, the Gen AI enablement kicks in, yeah? 
to plan to do, if the document is anyhow running to the pipeline, to do extracts, to the summarization, to even do more information extraction out of that or interpretation of the information to be then stored and be uh, able to, to use that in our processes. So Thomas, next slide, please. So, and if you look at that where we are today, we are running um, uh, uh, around 8,000 8, documents per day uh, through the pipeline. Yeah, we are on an SDP ratio, and that includes the full pipeline, not only the doc AI uh, uh, part, uh, on an 80% level, which is already great. Yeah, so we planned that uh, we plan to, to have that uh, uh, in one more year. Uh, so we are much faster in terms of automation than we thought before. We are running three processors, but that's not important. That depends on how many different forms we have. And we have everything. Yeah? We have rent handwritten ones. We have forms. We have contracts. We have everything yeah, which is coming in by our customers. So even you find a, 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 a little letter like, uh, dear Commerzbank, please delete my account. Yeah? And that's all what's on the, that uh, service request by the client. But we are already able to run that through the pipeline as well on that automation ratio. If you look for the next big step we are planning to do towards end of 2024, um, you see that we significantly want to increase uh, the number of documents we run through the pipeline. Yeah? So, and the limitation is not the capability of Doc AI. The, the limitation is in the later part of the pipeline to really find the right information and to design and to, to agree on which document should be processed where, that, to, that you can route it to the right place. Yeah? And we assume when we are now going to introduce in, in production the Gen AI enabled processors, that we automatically increase our SDP ratio because it's much more accurate and it will enable us as well on um, doing more things with it, which uh, is on the current generation a bit more difficult, but it's really, really promising what we saw in our proof of concept or what you can see in, in Thomas' uh, booth here. Um, and uh, of course, the number of processors depends on how we're going to manage that and the different things. But that's something we still have to learn, whatever the number will be we, we are using at the very end. So one last slide, some key learnings, um, which is important from my side to, to, to bring it to you, because that's really, it's not about technology. It's about technology, but it's a lot more about the transformation of people working with it, including the IT guys, yeah, processes and operating model. We are that successful as we are because we involved in particular the back office guys from the very beginning. And uh, it, it was really great to see that he said already early 2023, after a few months of production with a limited number of documents, oh, let's put everything on the pipeline which can be handled uh, uh, up to now, which is really then rising acceptance as well as the speed of uh, development. Huh? Um, and the third one, there are changes no? by responsibilities, the way of working of the back office, the way of working in the branches, as well as in our way of working in, 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 in the IT processing. Yeah? Um, I already talked about uh, the, the, if we extract more data out of the documents, that, that the value will even uh, be multiplied because uh, it, it's just a number of, of, of people involved in the manual work. Yeah? And if you can do that in an automated sense, that's much, much more easy. Last but not least, but a very important topic. Yeah? Um, of course, as a bank, we are living in a, a, a strongly regulated uh, uh, environment in industry. So therefore, we have to increase in parallel the governance function all around AI and how we're going to do that. Yeah? So that's what we are doing for the full bank, not only for the doc AI case, yeah? because we are uh, investing much more as well in, in AI in, 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 in general. But it's really, really important because we can't get to the right acceptance in, a, in over all the processes as well as with the regulators if we don't have that in mind and working on it uh, very early. That would it be from my side, Thomas. Thank you so much, Andreas. Uh, very, uh, a, a lot of information there. I think what, one of the key takeaways here is the, the learnings on how to apply you know, the different products, what to look out for. I think that's really important.